Tiny acrylate glue, also known as super glue, a glue that dries very quickly. Sadly, not always quick enough. So I found out that there are these accelerants that you can use. And then I found out that none of them ship to where I live. So I figured that I guess I have to make my own. So here is my accelerant. You'd say that burka that looks exactly like a bottle of water. And you'd be almost correct. It has a secret ingredient. And that's sodium bicarbonate, also known as baking soda. The reason why we need this is because there is acid in the superglue and we need to neutralize it. The reason why I picked this particular ingredient for the accelerant is because it's soluble in water. Now we just need to calculate how much of sodium bicarbonate we need for 50 milliliters. So we'll just do a handy dandy calculation and we'll think that we'll do something between 20 and 0c so we'll just go ahead and apply those together and then divide by 2 and then we'll get something between those two and then we'll divide by 10 that's for 100 milliliters and divide by 2 and now we have for 50 milliliters so we'll go for 4 grams now that the soda has been measured let's get our water I just filled up my 50 milliliter bottle to measure it. Next, just dump in the soda and mix. To speed up the process, I heated up the water to 65 degrees. This is entirely optional and just speeds up the process. Once all of the soda has dissolved, we can stop mixing. And if you warmed up the water, just leave it to cool down now. Following from Nile Red's example in the potato video, we'll just expertly pour the solution into the bottle. Now that the solution has been successfully bottled, let's test it on some leftover prints. Note that the difference between my solution and the commercial ones available in the USA is that mine will be sprayed after you've connected the pieces, not before. It doesn't seem to work if you do it the other way around. With one or two sprays, the pieces fuse together, but that's just from the outside. You can now leave them to cure without having to hold them up with your hands. However, if you do move them, it'll break the bond. You can, however, just spray it on the other side, which gives your piece a much better chance of fusing properly. Out of the roughly dozen pieces that I've tested so far, I haven't seen any difference between a normal bond and a bond that has been helped with my accelerant. But I also lack the equipment to test it. I would need someone like the CNC kitchen to test it for me. But that's all there is today. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something. I'll see you in the next one.